Hello everybody, uh, this is my uh, second video. So now as you to a three-phase motor start time circuit and you can follow this video and uh, you can build this uh, motor control circuit in your industrial area or in your workplace. Thank you. Right, uh, okay, now I open the EKTS uh, simulator. Right, let's go to the open. The, this is a, a drawing panel. Uh, now I open the uh, components. So you can see this is a component library. Uh, there is a three phase supply and a single place line. This is a natural. This is a double state. Uh, three pole double state switch, three pole single state switch, contactor, lamp, uh, limit switch, limit switch uh, two pole, normally close contact, normally close triple contact, normally open contact, normally open triple contact, off delay time relay, on delay time relay, start button, stop button, two way buttons. This is the motors. This one is a single phase induction motor. This one single phase induction motor with a centrifugal switch. This is a star delta connectable three phase induction motor. This is a three phase induction motor. These are systems elevators, gate systems, uh, gate system 1 and gate system 2. Alright, now I will give to uh, now I will design a uh, small uh, circuit diagram um, using this uh, electrical component first uh, I take a power supply first I will give to a control circuit and, and I give a I take a stop push button I rotate uh, 270 degree and I take start button I combine this component I rotate this 300 and 200 sorry, 270 degree now I rename stop and I rename this push button start So I rename this contactor K and I take natural OK. Now you can see control diagram. Now I am rename this. Control circuit. Okay, now I am gonna adjust this uh, control circuit using this uh, run push button. Oh, you can see this is the path is energized, and this uh, power will become to the uh, K contactor. Okay, let's I am let's go to the row in uh, three phase power diagrams so i am use the three phase power supply and i take normally open triple contact and rotate 290 degree now i combine this path Now I can take a uh, motor. Mm -hmm. 
sorry I rename this motor so when you energize this uh, control circuit this contractor become energized so I will rename this this is uh, K contactors normally open terminals now I energize the full control circuit okay now you can see the rotate the motor in forward direction when I release this push button motor will become a stop condition so I can I can give a, a normally open contractor for self hold in this computer so normally open contactor I stop this and normally open contactor and take this place and rotate 90 degree and I will connection like this so and I am rename this contactor ok when you click this run button the, this diagram bec become energized when you click this start the power is become this way and K energize or otherwise contact energize and this contactors or normally open contactors points are become normally close contactor and this contactor this contactor point become a normally closed contactor and this this contactor come to the self holding so now I am re-energize the this circuit oh you can see this uh, motor is uh, ro rotate the forward direction this is a self holding path now contact energize this contactors uh, close contact normally close normally open contactors become a normally close contactors right let's go to the other circuit diagram uh, this is a timer circuit so you can see uh, I will I will, I was uh, previously designed this software so I will give to this diagram now So now you can see this uh, diagram. Now I adjust this uh, diagram, and I click on button. Okay, now you can see simulate the diagram. Now we stop this motor. This timer timer is time in the five clock, and it's this timer is stop the diagram. after I click this as you can see the clock is become to zero after this motor become stop because timer is dis disconnect after this contactor across the this timer contactor points